제 94회 동생이 키가 커요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Be Korean. I'm Lisa Kelly. Welcome to Let's Be Korean. We're going to learn how to describe people and to get further into the Korean language. I'm your Hunjang Kim Young and Blake is here with us. Yes, I am Blake and people describe me in all sorts of ways. Okay. All right, let's go and hit our lesson. 한번 봅시다. Let's take a look. 안녕하세요. 아, 소금 인형에서 철없는 의사역을 맡은 강지섭입니다. 편해졌죠? 네. 어? 뭐? 뭐? 날라 유사? 야! 원장 들어. 여보세요. 여기가 되게 마음대로 삼촌도 누구 뭐라고 따라왔는 병원 응급실일 줄 아시나? 이 여자가 진짜 씨. 오늘 공부하실 내용은 어, 동생이 생각보다 키가 컸을 때 하는 말이죠. 동생이 키가 커요. 동생이 키가 커요. 동생이 키가 커요. 네, 아버지를 닮아서 키가 커요. 키가 커요. 동생이 키가 커요. Right? No, he is not. What? What did you say? Is that good? Yes, it's good. I said he's oh. quite tall. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's... 동생이. 동생 is your brother, right? Mm -hmm. Little brother, little brother, or 남동생 to be exact. 동생. And then 키 is your height. Okay, 키. It's almost like K-E-Y, like the notes on a piano or mm -hmm. a key. All right. But uh, we say it a little bit shorter. 키. And then 크다 is to be big, but when we use it with the word 키, we mean, of course, tall, okay? okay. So putting all this together, 동생이, 동생이 키가, 키가 커요. 커요. 동생이 키가 커요. 동생이 키가 커요. What if, he, what if it was uh, the opposite? What if he was like me and he wasn't all that tall? Or right, better, better yeah, what if he was short? Mm. Well, how would you say that? 키가 작아요. Mm -hmm. 키가 작아요. 작다 means to be small. And like I said, when you use it with the word height, 키, then mm -hmm. obviously it doesn't mean he's, his height is small, it's his height is short. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have a picture of your brother, right? Yeah, I got it. This was on his first day of school right oh, here. Yeah. Good looking guy. He's also good looking. So if you mm -hmm. wanted to say that your brother was good looking, you would say 잘생겼다. 잘생겼다. That is the uh, word for good looking or handsome. handsome. And if you wanted to put it into a complete sentence, um, you would say 동생이 잘생겼어요. 동생이 잘생겼어요. 동생이 잘생겼어요, Blake. 동생이 잘생겼어요. 잘생겼어요. Right, when you say 생겼다, it means appear or look like something. So 잘 is well, so he's well looking or good looking, handsome. <laughs> All right, so one more time. Your little brother is quite tall. How would we say that? 동생. 동생이 키가 키가 커요. 커요. Now. 동생이 키가 커요. Okay, you mentioned that your brother is uh, tall, and Lisa mentioned that he's tall too, and you also mentioned that your father was tall, so this sort of runs in the family. Yeah, he's he's a mountain of a man. Mm-hmm. Then you could actually say 네. Oh. 아버지를 닮아서 키가 커요. 네 is yes. 네, yes. 아버지를 닮아서 키가 커요. I am tall. 키가 커요. Because why? 아버지를 닮아서. Because of my father. Because I resemble my father. 닮아서. 닮다. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That's resemble or having uh, similarities, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 아버지를 닮아서. Because I am similar to my father. 키가 커요. I am tall. Right. Uh, 아버지's father, 닮다, we learned before, meaning resemble, look alike. Ki is height and coil is big. Look at this. We know all these vocabulary words. It's just a matter of how to put them together, which is why we need these patterns, because these are the little screws and nuts and bolts that keep everything together. So once you understand the words, now you need to learn how to put them together through these patterns. Aso or Ozho. We have this in our pattern today. Abojitur Taima Aso, right? Aso. Because of something, due to something, reason and then Aso, okay? And then the result. The result is Kiga Koyo, right? So we can use this pattern to say many things. In this situation, one more time. Abojitur Taima Aso. 
아버지를 닮아서 because also is because think of that as because because I look like my father 아버지를 닮아서 so the result is I am tall 키가 커요 okay all right uh, what when we do a couple of yeah uh, let's actually mix and yeah. match those things okay how about study I mean a lot of people don't like to study but mm. some people are better at studying than others and sometimes it kind of runs in the family as right. well for example let's say my mother was a very good student 어머니를 닮아서 because I resemble or I have similarities with my mother 공부를 잘해요 I study well 어머니를 닮아서 공부를 잘해요 어머니를 닮아서 공부를 잘해요 공부를 잘해요 어머니를 닮아서 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 어머니를 닮아서 공부를 잘해요 잘해요 You know, the Korean entertainment industry is being respected by the world, especially the film industry. With great actors, beautiful and also highly talented, Korea is on the map in the film industry. Films such as Taegeukki Hinalimyo or The Brotherhood of War and The Host. Wow, that was a great film. Also, there were great films such as Shiri and Old Boy. Ooh, also, the Sympathy for Lady Vengeance. A lot of these films have come out and created this Hallyu fever or this Korean wave that's been taking the entertainment industry all over the world by storm. And that is Hallyu. That's another one of Korea's great creations, Korean films. Test time. Tell me how to say these expressions in Korean. Number one. My younger brother is good looking. Dong Sang Yi Chao Sang Gyo Seo. Dong Sang Yi Chao Sang Gyo Seo. Number two. I'm tall because I take after my father. Abojiru Tamaso Kigo Kayo. That's right. Abojiru Tamaso Kigo Kayo. Your brother is really tall. 동생이 키가 커요. But it's not just any brother, it's your younger brother. Or it could be your sister too because we didn't specify the gender. It just means a younger sibling. 동생이 키가, ki is your height. 커요, very big is what 커요 means. But when we use it with the word ki, we're obviously saying that you're tall or very high. Your, your height is high or big, okay? So your brother or younger sister is very big. 키가 커요. 네, 아버지를 닮아서 키가 커요. 아버지, your father. What about your father? You resemble or take after your father. 아버지를 닮아서 키가 커요. Ah, I see. That's why you're so tall. We learned quite a bit today. I mean, things may get a bit more complicating now. I mean, we are getting into the more advanced phase. Uh, what do you think, Blake? It was a little bit tricky for me today, but I think with some practice, I'll be okay. Okay. The most important thing is to put it into use. These are very useful expressions, and by using substitutions and making the examples your own, you can memor memorize them for a long time. We'll see you next time on Adirang's Let's Be Korean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.